Dear students, today we will going to do an experiment in the optical fiber communication lab. The experiment name is VI characteristics of photo LED. So the components or equipments required for this experiment is first of all we need a tech book, Santec tech book and the power supply for that and also we need for plotting the VI characteristics we need voltmeter and ammeter. So we will take two ammeter two multimeters one is used as voltmeter and other one is used as a meter and we have to put the no, uh, this switch in the uh, voltage position and this in the milliameter range so next we can do the connections before that we have to ensure that all the switch to faults will be in off position you can see here this is the switch to faults and it should be in the off position Next also we have to put it in the this SW mode selection switch in the digital mode. Then we can do connections. Actually we are going to plot the VA characteristics of an LED. So we are utilizing this portion that is emitter circuit portion and we will give the voltage from here that is very from the variable supply and that from that supply we are taking the connections. Let us see. First of all we will make a connection from the variable supply to emitter circuit input. So voltage will be giving us input to this emitter circuit portion. So to see that voltage we have to connect a voltmeter that is between this emitter circuit input and the ground terminal that means this act as a voltmeter. Next we have to see the current through that circuit portion through that LED see the current is obtained by connecting the current reading will be obtained by connecting the multimeter a meter, a meter position, a meter uh, knobs or terminals between this A and B terminals so that we can see the current reading in this multimeter which is put it in the milliameter mode. Next we have we can switch on the power supply for this tech book when we switch on that power supply that light will be blown also we can see that uh, here First of all, first the reading was 0, 0. First here 1.26 volt appears. For that the current is 0. You can see here. Next, for varying this voltage, we can vary that knob. You can see here that knob is varying. Supply voltage knob is varying. And you can see the readings here. See that voltmeter is varying. You can see the variation. For that variation, there will be variation in the current. You should take the readings very careful because for a small change in the voltage there is a drastic change in the current. So you should vary the voltage by using that knob in a slow manner. You can see for 1.6 the current is 0 0.04 and next you can see for 1.712 the current is 0 0.04 that means current is very small. 1.8 current is 0 0.25 29 for 1.97 the current is 0 0.86 milliameter and for 2.4 volt current is 1.04 and when there is a small change in the current that is current starts increasing you can see from the value of 2.1 see when the current is 2 point, if voltage is 2.1, you can see the variation as 3.4. The current is 3.4. That means there is an increase from 1 point value to 3.6. So the, that LED works in the linear region. For 2.226, the current is 4.56. That means the current starts increasing in a linear manner. For a small change in the voltage, there is a drastic change in the value of current. So also you can see that at 2.356 something 5.42 is the current value. Again we are varying this voltage in a very slow manner. So that we will get the current value 7.11 for 2.44 volt the current is 7.20. Again we are varying this voltage that is 2. Point, now it is value is 3 current is 7.26 that means now the current value is increasing in a slow manner that means its value is saturated you can see here there is a variation in the voltage 
3.9 but the current is not varying at all that means it is stuck in the value 7.27 millimeter that means it shows that you can see here when you are plotting a graph you can see that here is we will get a portion that means for initial values of voltages you can see that there is not much the current value is zero when we are increasing the voltage up to this 1.4 the current is zero but then there is a small increase in the current for a small increase in the voltage value after the point 2 the current increases very suddenly that means it operates in the linear region in this portion that means there is a large variation of the current here then up to a point of 2 point something value the current is saturated that its value is 7 point something so this is the characteristics of the led so this by taking the values from voltmeter from the multimeters which is acting as voltmeter and millimeter we can draw the vi characteristics of the led so thus by this connection we got the vi characteristics of led you can see here that this this led is blowing you can see okay we have plot the vi characteristics of that led that's all about thank you students if we need to plot the pi characteristics of photo led see what is pi pi means for power current characteristics of photo led we we can just do the same procedure as we have done in the case of vi characteristics of photo led that means connections are similar that is voltmeter is connected between the input of the emitter circuit and the ground and ammeter is connected between the a and b terminals of emitter circuit and we will vary the supply voltage and we will find the different values of voltage and the corresponding current values so we will get the tabular column like this voltage versus current the tabular column is this one and in order to get the power you know the procedure that means power is obtained by multiplying the voltage and current right so you can multiply this uh, voltage with the current so that you will get the power value so for each value of voltage and current you can find the power value okay so you will get the power values so you can plot the pi characteristics by using the values of p and i so that you will get a curve like this see you can see here this is the voltage sorry this is the power for the x axis we are plotting the power and for the y axis we are plotting the current in milliampere so that we will get a curve like this you can see that at a particular point you know that the current is constant at that point the power will also become constant so you you got the pi characteristics like this in some cases you can use power meter to find the power directly from this circuit so for that you need power power meter either you can do the experiment like the pi characteristics and you can simply multiply voltage and current and you can plot this power current characteristics that is pi characteristics that's all about this experiment thank you